Dear learner, sometimes we need to use secondary beam as a beam system. When we use a bigger slab or bigger size slab or a spacing of one beam to another beam is very high, then we need to use secondary beam or beam system. Okay, so how we'll do it in this lecture? I'm going to show you that. So let's say I will uh, create beam system in here in that floor system. So I'll go here, level two. Now to create beam system, first of all, we have to create a, a specific beam size for which types of beam size we want to use as a secondary beam. So I'll just go here beam and uh, here already a beam are selected so i'll go edit i will click replicate and i'll give its name is secondary beam let's let's say sb and the width of beam will be uh let's say 8 inch or 200 mm and depth will be depth will be uh let's say 12 mm that means 300 sorry um, 2 inch 12 inch or 300 mm so this is the sb size i'll click ok here we'll change it 200 okay done now we are ready to create our secondary beam to do it i'll go here a structure from here you will get an option secondary beam or a beam system i'll click here for beam system okay now they have two options automatic beam system or edge case beam system so i will take automatic beam system as i am going to drawing a beam inside the inside another beams like a secondary beam okay and uh, actually just see here no beam are marking that which types of beam is it or what is the section of this beam so what we can do we can when we'll draw something we can click here tag on placement if we open that option then the tag of this beam will be available here now you will get two options a structural framing system so uh, we'll go through a structural framing system and here types beam types for which types of beam we'll go for it so i'll go for sb right as we have created just now and justification it will be center for automatic placement in justif justification it will be center and our layout okay what would be the layout they have many options uh, i'll go for fixed okay okay so and if you want to change that also you can change in justification let's say here but when you'll go for uh maximum spacing then if this option will not work now you can change it uh, justification uh, will go for will go as per center now in clear spacing fixed distance fixed number actually uh, say you want to place four beam inside that beam so you can use fixed number on how number of beam you want to place but we'll go with uh, here fixed distance fixed number fixed distance clear spacing so what should be the clear spacing between all beam so i am go for maximum spacing and i am going for uh, after every one meter or hundred uh, one thousand millimeter it will place okay and a tag style it will be in system system or if you want to use tag style as a framing you can use so let's take a default now just simply come here and if you take actually 
when you will take uh, your beam or sorry your cursor on that beam then it will create parallel beam of it again if you take like it it will create parallel beam with it okay so let's say i will uh, create a beam like that it's have been created again click here uh, again click here same same okay and now skip and go to 3d you can see some beam have been created here as a secondary beam okay so in this way you are able to create your secondary beam anytime so i am going to uh, delete it i'll press s z control plus z to remove it because this is not necessary for our that project thank you thank you very much